This is the Average to Savage podcast with Paul Garino. Everyone and anyone, athletes, celebs, and much more. What's up, everybody? I'm back for another episode of Average to Savage podcast. Got another special guest, Christine Monadon of Cork Yoga. Christine, how's it going? Good. How about you? Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. So let's just jump right into it. Could you tell the listeners just a little about yourself? So I am a, actually a native Seattleite living here in Southern California. My husband and our two boys. I grew up in Seattle loving nature, loving to hike, um, and just kind of watched my parents also build their own business and learned from a young age that you know anything's possible when you follow your dreams, work hard, and, and give back. And so that kind of um, led me to be inspired to start our own business with the same business model. Yeah, so where, where are your parents from? They're actually from Hong Kong. Okay. So I kind of watched them as immigrants come here and, you know, study and work really hard. It was, it was a difficult time for them. Yeah, so you're, uh, you're first generation American? I am, yes. Okay. First so, generation. So that's cool. Yes. That's kind of, yeah. I feel like it's kind of, I feel, feel like it's kind of rare a little now because it's just because everybody's like here, you know? Yeah, exactly. You know, especially for my kids to understand all of the hard work that their grandparents did for them. Yeah, yeah. Coming here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know? So those are the same models that we want to pass down to our kids as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And before you started Cork Yoga, what's your uh, work experience, like background? I actually studied cross-cultural studies um, at Biola University. My passion was really stemmed from my love for travel. Mm -hmm. And I originally wanted to teach English overseas. So I did that for quite some time and volunteered in different orphanages and medical clinics overseas throughout India, Pakistan, and China. So that really is a huge part of me. It's, it's a centerpiece of my life, yeah. travel and just that adventurous side of me. Gotcha. What was that like, teaching uh, people English? You know, it, it had its challenges, especially when you teach adults yeah. um, who sometimes are older than you. At that time, I was you know, my early 20s when yeah. I was teaching 34-year-olds. Yeah. So it was it was a challenge, but I learned so much, and I really feel like it built a really strong foundation um, for me. Just my love for people in different cultures. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, how did you uh, start Cork Yoga? Well, we started actually it started from one trip in particular back in 2016, a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. I was really at the crossroads in my personal life. We had just experienced uh, a lot of trauma and loss through our family. And my husband and I were just turning 40 and we're just kind of ready to kind of embrace new and heal from all of that. And so we decided to travel again and decided to visit Portugal. So during that trip, I literally fell in love with the people, the culture, the food, and obviously the beauty of it. I was able to revisit a lot of those passions that have kind of been buried down mm -hmm. from the weight of all the pain. And one day I was walking through the street and I was drawn to this vendor that was selling me really unique looking bags and learned that they were actually made from cork. And so through that, I learned that Portugal is actually the largest supplier of cork in the world. And I started to just kind of read on my own and learn and coming back from that trip, I felt really compelled to go back for one thing and also to give back to the country. Mm -hmm. And so I started to research just what Cork was all about, working with different manufacturers um, and trying to decide what we could do um, to partner with a manufacturer and create something that people would love that was made from Cork. Yeah. So because of my passion for mental health mm -hmm. and just from my personal journey and the benefits that yoga gives, we decided to create these amazing yoga mats that are made from cork. Gotcha. So I'm assuming you're, you were big into yoga before this, correct? Actually, no, I wasn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was, my, I do a lot of boot camps yeah. previously. I just high energy fitness types of things. Okay. And um, I played, believe it or not, I played basketball during my junior high and high school years. So I, yoga was never, it never struck me as something too interesting before. 
Yeah. And throughout several years, my friends had encouraged me, you know, Chris, you need to take some time, you know, do some yoga, calm down, breathe a little bit, take care of yourself. And because I just, I'm always, it's that adventure side of me. Yeah. Um, yoga was kind of an area where it, it didn't strike me as strongly as other things did. And through court yoga, actually, it has inspired me a lot to do yoga more frequently. Mm-hmm. And, you know, as a mom, a soccer boy, uh, and now, you know, owner of Cork Yoga, I really have discovered that yoga helps me find my balance. It gives me a time to breathe. Um, so now I'm fully into it. Gotcha. So I know you said you went to Portugal and that's how you came up with like the cork yoga mat. But like, how did you think about making a yoga mat out of cork? Like, did you think of any other products too? We did. We thought of, you know, creating, you know, whether it was jewelry or bags, which we are as far as our accessory line yeah. creating on the side. Um, but we, we really had to think what community of people would be in love with our product Mm -hmm. and of course we thought of the yoga and wellness community we care about sustainability and cork supports it's an amazing industry i mean it's the only tree that regenerates its own bark yeah for sure and we felt like the the yoga mat as a whole just really provided all of the features and the properties of cork you know it's antimicrobial it's um, chemical free it's non-slip all these different properties that it had we felt like the yoga mat just featured it all yeah definitely you just so, kind of answered my next question which is going to be what sets your mats apart from other yoga mats <laughs> well <laughs> exactly i mean our mats there's absolutely no rubber or chemicals you know any of the pvc nothing like that in our mats and that completely sets us apart yeah, and you guys are uh, they're like recyclable and stuff yes completely yeah. recyclable yeah. if we you know if, if anybody wanted to send their mat to us we could send it back to our factory and they could recycle it and produce whether it's yoga block or anything else oh. out of the same material. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a great, we really enjoy working with Cork. So what's the process for them to produce a yoga mat and what's like the turnaround time? So it, it actually doesn't matter how many mats from start to finish, it's about a two month process. Okay. And because cork is only harvested about three months out of the year, typically from May until the end of July, this year was actually a late harvest, and um, I was really honored to be there and actually learned how to harvest cork um, from the tree and kind of watch the entire process. It's, It's amazing. And so through that, they have to let the cork dry for several weeks, and then they have to bring it to the factory. And so from start to finish, once it lands at the factory, it's a two-month process. Gotcha. And all of our mats are handmade, hand-pressed. Gotcha. What are the other products you were saying that you guys have besides yoga mats? We have these great backpacks that we can also use for yoga mat bags as well. Mm-hmm. And they're made out of cork. And we also have yoga blocks. We have two lines of yoga blocks. One is our line through our factory. And then another type of yoga block is all recycled wine cork stoppers. And that's our partnership with an organization called Recork. Mm-hmm. And what they do is they recycle all of uh, wine cork stoppers that are donated to them and produce cork blocks, um, soles for your shoes, just different things. Oh, that's cool. Let's check it out. Yeah. And then we also work with a factory in Turkey. Um, we create these uh, amazing yoga towels as well on the side. So those are some. We're continuing to add to our product line, but really our hero product is our yoga mat. Gotcha. Curious question. Is there any cork trees in, like, the U.S.? Actually, interestingly enough, um, my husband took our boys camping this summer um, up in Northern California, mm-hmm. and I was at Port- in Portugal at the time doing our filming. We were filming our, the, the origin of our story, and he sent me two pictures of two cork trees that were planted um, I think it was close to Santa Barbara mm-hmm. here in Northern California. And so there were just two cork trees sitting there. And I went, you know, kind of in line and just researched a little bit um, just to find out if anyone has ever tried to plant. Because our climate here in 
California is similar to Portugal's climate. Okay. And it, it was interesting when I came across that there was somebody that did try to plant cork oak trees here in California, but when it was time to harvest, what they stripped off the tree was it didn't produce the same quality and the material that they tried to produce wasn't as moldable. Yeah. It was pretty harsh but from what I read. Gotcha. So, yeah, I'm sure there's some, but as far as what we can use them for, I don't think it's the same as in Portugal. Gotcha. So could you tell us a little about uh, the benefits of doing yoga? Well, for one thing, it reduces stress. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the breathing and the mindfulness involved. We recently partnered actually with a nonprofit called Wilson Bridge, mm-hmm. and their mission is to help those dealing with breast cancer and, and other types of um, cancer treatments. And they have proven that yoga does reduce stress, so that's been amazing. Um, and they've also discovered that yoga regulates stress hormones and creates the quality of life for women with breast cancer that are undergoing radiation therapy. So, I mean, there's, the benefits of yoga are, I feel like they're endless. Yeah. It helps with fatigue and inflammation. Um, and best of all, it helps with our mental health. I mean, just all around. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And so, I know, what were you going to say? Well, I was just going to say last week, we actually, one of our yoga instructors, we sponsored an event with our boys soccer club with LA Galaxy Orange County. Mm-hmm. And there was about 50 boys. And just, he went in and just kind of taught them, you know, the, the proper stretching and the breathing and just, you know, for injury prevention for athletes. So that's huge uh, need in that area as well. Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, actually, I think some NFL teams, some of them require them to do yoga. Some Which teams. I think it's amazing, yeah. Yeah. And, um... It's- I know you're talking about the your giving back programs. I know you had some stuff going on in Portugal too. Could you could you just uh, explain some of that too? So we're currently working with a couple organizations over there. Um, it's developing partnerships, um, still solidifying to um, develop programs in the schools. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, you know, with the stigma with mental health, um, it's. I'd say we're ahead of them in the sense the U.S. Is, is a lot more open to talk about it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, culturally in, in Portugal, there is stigma with mental health. And um, I was reading actually a, a while ago in the Portugal American Journal that Portugal is the, has the highest rate of depression in Europe um, and second in the world. And the article stated that one third of the population with mental disorders are not being treated. Mm-hmm. So that's really that's really our passion as well. Is how can we um, give back in providing and helping provide resources? Um, I know there's not enough funding in the schools over there, so we're still working with them um, to develop a program. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I and think- also. Locally here in our community as well. I mean, this weekend I'm doing the walk with the um, national with the National Alliance of Mental Illness. Yeah, um, they're doing walks all over the nation. So you know, we're just doing our best and trying, you know, to support what yeah. we can do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, I saw you have a brand, or yeah, I saw you have an ambassador program. So could you tell the listeners how they could become an ambassador of Cork Yoga? Well, we obviously love anybody talking about cork yoga. And um, the ambassadors that that we have on our team right now um, love both yoga and mental health. Mm -hmm. Um, And also, of course, the sustainability aspect. So, you know, for anyone that loves all three of these and is involved in this you know, movement and feels like they would be a great contribution to our brand. We, we'd love to chat more about that. Uh, actually, one of our current ambassadors, uh, she is a mental health advocate herself and um, struggled with bipolar for many years and found that yoga was proven to really balance her moods 
Yeah. So we'd love to have investors with, with, you know, with this type of background that just feels like they can, you know, help us promote and be part of this community. We're all about community here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, what, what advice would you give somebody that wants to start a new business? You know, I think just from my personal journey, I think sometimes you got to just, you know, for me personally, there was a lot of fear of failure. What if it doesn't work? Yeah. Right. Right. What right. if um, everyone's looking at me and, you know, what if everything just falls apart and none of this works? And, you know, someone told me, you know, Chris, it, courage is not the absence of fear. It's moving ahead in spite of fear. It's, it's when you do something that you're scared to do. And I thought that, that for me was it right there. Yeah. You know, one of the one of the quotes that I have like on my desk that I hear every day is from Thomas Edison, and I don't know if you are familiar with this quote. He says, "I haven't failed, but I found ten thousand ways that don't work." Yeah. And I feel like that that was that's kind of been my inspiration. Yeah, um, you know, go for it. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. I think don't uh, be afraid. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, I just keep on seeing all this stuff just on like social media, and it's just like. One guy always puts out like uh, people are spending like five hundred dollars on shoes, but won't spend five hundred dollars to like start a business because they're like afraid. <laughs> or like, or like he had a poll like, would you rather uh, like uh, drive home drunk or start a business for, and use five hundred dollars? And like the poll like results were dumb because it was like the drunk driving one was one. <laughs> like I didn't get what was going on there. Exactly. But that was just that right. was that was just a ridiculous poll. <laughs> but yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> but sometimes I think we just we forget. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, that's such a good. Well, that is ridiculous. <laughs> I think we're all kind of wired that way, right? We kind of yeah. let our fears get in the way. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And one one book that I love is um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. Simon Sinek. Mm-hmm. Um, start with why. Have you read that one? Um, no. It's it's how great leaders. And Inspire everyone to take action, and he always he, he writes about just finding your why, and that's where you start. Gotcha. Why are you doing this? Yeah, and going back to that constantly, and yeah. we all have it in us. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, actually, uh, me and my friend uh, do a video series called My Why, and we oh, do. I love that. Yeah, we do. Uh, we did mostly athletes so far. And just asking them why they do what they do, like basically why they play the sport and what they do and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll have to send it to you. That's awesome. And uh, you ready for some fun questions? I think so. <laughs> so are you watching any uh, shows or movies on Netflix right now? Um, actually, I don't really get to choose what I want to watch with <laughs> my kids. <laughs> so you're watching, any, you're watching some cool <laughs> cartoons right now? <laughs> well, we just finished watching this uh, Billy series. It's just a family series called the Goldberg. Yeah. Uh, have you seen that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we'll watch Shark Tank. Like, my kids love Shark Tank. Oh, yeah. Always yeah, the me creativity too. and the challenge in that. Um, those are some of the shows. You know, Seinfeld is always a hit in our home. Yeah, classic. Yeah, it's total classic. And obviously, soccer. Yeah, okay. It, my family is just all about soccer, so I can never get away from it. Yeah, for sure. What about, this is a good one. What, what's your, uh, I know you love traveling, so could you name your top five places that you love to visit? Top five, well, of course, Portugal is at the top. Yep. Um, Spain. I, I love Spain as well. India, definitely. Okay. Um. I loved New Zealand. We were there about a year and a half ago. We hiked a lot and just loved that place. It's beautiful. And I hate to say this, but I love Tahiti as well. <laughs> okay. It's, it, yeah. I love the tropics and the weather. Gotcha. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's. I think that's everybody loves warm weather over cold. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't like cold. Yeah, me, <laughs> me neither. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you coming on, and uh, could you tell the listeners uh, what your website is and where they can find you guys on social media? Definitely. Um, come check us out on www.corkyoga, 
That's C-O-R-C-Yoga.com and on Instagram and Facebook at Cork Yoga as well. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you coming on. Thanks so much, Paul. You have a great day. All right. You too.